explicit. Give me some of that wine and waivers. Explicit podcast. And I am just here for the booze. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think we all are. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. It's our last week of the season for Wine and Weavers. Carly has decided to grace us with her presence. I know you guys missed me. Of course we did. Yeah, well thank God you showed up for our last episode. I'm here, I'm here. We would have had to do another week. We couldn't end end the season without Carly. So she's back and she's feeling better than ever. Yeah, and I'd really love to clear up these rumors about my back that you're trying to uh, throw out there, you ass. Holes. You told us that you injured yourself. I on did, ball. but you were all like, mm, "She said that she did it on what? an exercise ball, but I'm not really sure if that, that is really what happened." As embarrassing as it is, I did hurt myself on <laughs> on an exercise. Probably ball. a little too small to use the exercise ball. Well, this is what happens yeah. when you're not used to exercising. Either. Yeah, so if your legs you try are to the sit same. on an exercise ball for work and you throw your back out. If your legs are the size of a toddler's, do not use the exercise ball. You can reach the ground. Yeah, it, it just it didn't work out very well and I really did hurt myself and I you know what? I used to pick on people who were like Oh, my back. I really hurt my back. Dude, like, no. You don't realize how fucking bad it is until you actually really hurt your back. It's terrible. No, it's terrible. It's awful. And then I'm like, because, like, I get patients that are, like, coming in and complaining with back pain. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, just take some Advil. What's the big deal? But, dude, no. When it's I hurt, terrible. I hurt my back earlier this year, and, like, I'm still having, like, residual issues. And it is so bad. I feel, like, so bad for these people now. Whenever I see people with back pain, I'm like... Fuck, I feel you, man. Like, that is fucking awful. I was, like, I was, like, walking around, like, and the breath was being taken out of me. Like, I literally couldn't breathe. Like, it was just, it was not well. Yeah, it was she went and got shit-faced that night to ease the pain. Yeah, I, got I was it. taking medication and it just She's got like, fucked like, I'm gonna take NyQuil, some scissor, and get yeah, myself feeling it, right. It worked, though. Whatever. It's fine. And so we're not going to do a hot word just because we still have to catch up from Carly having her back thrown out. And apparently I was a loser last week. So Carly's supposed to be jumping in the pool, but... It maybe. warmed up, so we're going to wait until tomorrow, I think. <laughs> yeah, or we might do another joint one since I lost as well, and it's the last one of the season. I'll still jump in the pool since y'all yeah, really wanted me to do that. It's and fine, she's going to get it. punished for missing our last It's our whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. And it's just a tradition now on the show that Carly always gets punished. Yeah. <laughs> do it for the content. Yeah. Carly's literally our, our, <laughs> our chronically punished. I'm just... I'm just a lifelong loser. It's fine. We are still going to give you guys Wines of the Week, though, just because why the fuck not? We needed to drink something tonight, so... It's been a day. And I was in St. Augustine. It was my birthday this past weekend. Ooh, ooh, old bitch. And I know... 31 and still fun. (laughs) I know, like, very early on in the show, I had a farmhouse red that I had suggested to you guys from a winery out in California, um, Klein Winery. And we've actually done a couple wines from them, but while I was in St. Augustine, I actually found the Farmhouse White, which I thought was pretty cool. So that's Carly's wine this week, and she'll tell you all about it. Oh my god, you guys. I, of course, none of us are huge white fans, but I always take one for the team. This one? <laughs> She's always getting always. fucked, no matter it's what. All right. It's alright. It's alright. I like getting <laughs> fucked. It's the fine. White wine. <laughs> getting fucked is my forte. <laughs> Maybe we should put that on a shirt. Yeah, <laughs> but... <laughs> my forte. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, this white wine is seriously legit. Like, it's been a long time since legit I've... Legit in percentage, too, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah it's, it's 13 percent five percent and it's like a blend of a couple different whites right yeah um it's a natural white it says um i mean it just says it has bright flavors of tangerine lemon curd and peach curd lemon curd yeah what in the fuck is a lemon curd (laughs) that is one of my biggest like disgusting words i hate them but so much uh to be honest I would pick that over some reds. It's very clean. Um, still has like a, a grapey flavor to it, which usually I just like the wine taste or the the wine taste, <laughs> the dry taste. But this one really is. It's it's really good. I I highly suggest it. 
Yeah, I swear this bitch when we were doing the tasting said that this had like three different whites in it, but clearly I was already tipsy and I fucking... I don't know, but it's 13.5, so it's high for me. It's, it's too, a winner. So. You guys it's should try one. it. All the farmhouse, the farmhouse red is like my favorite wine ever, so farmhouse. Yes. You can get it from Klein Winery from Sonoma, California. Get it online. You won't regret it. And if you do, if you don't like it, ship the fucking bottle to us and then drink it. <laughs> exactly. Wine and waivers approved. All right, Tiny, hit us with the red. So, we don't have, like, necessarily a holiday wine this week. But we're going to try to redeem Tanya's work holiday yes. wine basket. So, I think we talked about it a while ago, how my work gives out these huge holiday baskets every week. Or, every week. Every <laughs> <Shopping. laughs> <Nice. laughs> Every <laughs> year. No wishful thinking. So, even though this isn't technically a holiday wine, it's a holiday wine to me because it came in the basket, and it's actually really, really good. It's a different one than they usually have. They usually have the same one, or the same brand every year. Ew! Uh, they don't even fucking switch it up for you guys? No, it's literally the exact actually, same. Like, this year they did! Yeah, why am I bitching? I, I know, like, it's like I get bottles free. of wine, really four, because Bobby doesn't drink wine, and he gets two, too, so. Yeah, I get sick. About it. And my mom. She works Boyfriend too. perks. Look at that, I get six bottles of wine for free. Your mom doesn't drink wine? No. Oh, really. fuck you. Wait, your okay. mom works with you, too? Well, <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, there's so many surprises right now. Oh, my God. Okay, no. So she, she doesn't work with her. She, she works in the same company. Oh, okay. Same overall company, different sister company. All right, fine. Yeah. Whatever. Bobby's dad's also the, uh, on the board of directors. Barbie. Dang. It's a family affair. Yeah, Jesus Wow, well, it, it sounds like a family business. Y'all my should does, over. <laughs> My grandfather founded one of the companies. What the I fuck? I can't. You own it. Anyway. Yeah. I'll own it eventually. We'll see. <laughs> uh, so this one is called 14 Hands Winery, or it's from 14 <laughs> Hands Winery. It's called Hot to Trot, which is fun. Ooh. Um, which is fun. <laughs> it's a smooth red blend from Columbia Valley. It's really, really smooth, like it says. <laughs> Let me literally. take a swig of that. Okay, just give me a second. I gotta find the <laughs> alcohol percentage. I didn't look at that, shockingly. 13.5%. Oh, Ooh, we're both going in tonight. Oh. Yep. So, and I, I needed it tonight. <laughs> And I'm actually drinking more of my spiced holiday wine because that's in just how I roll. Yeah, I actually have a coffee mug that I'm drinking. Isn't it good? Part oh. of the space was like, holy shit. Oh my god, that is so good. Yeah, it's much better than the last ones that they gave us, honestly. Damn. I, I kind of like... Send your fuck whoever designs the basket, send them an email and be like, yo, I'm, I'm about this one. Don't send us that old shit one. That's <laughs> amazingly smooth. Yeah. It sounds really good. Ripe right. berries with smooth flavors of black cherry and plum. I'm all about the plum in wine. I'm not sure why but maybe because like it, it Carly anything but the oak no oak. yeah no oh god damn it if you guys haven't got it I don't like butteriness and I don't <laughs> like oak and that's it if y'all want to send me some wine for Christmas just make sure it doesn't have either of those things and we'll be all set too fucking funny so um before we get into our anything from <laughs> from last week I just want Carly to briefly touch on her weekend oh, wow. prior to missing From this what because she remembers. yeah because we <laughs> told everyone that you you know had quite the interesting weekend and we're not talking about this past weekend because we also she also has a story for us she apparently she didn't tell us the story that we don't even show. know about <laughs> I'm excited about that from this past weekend but we're talking about the weekend before <laughs> where you had quite an interesting guys experience. I can't make this shit up I swear I need a camera crew to just follow me around every fucking weekend. This is what happens when you don't have all your fuck buddies in line. You yeah. don't. You just, yeah, I fucked up. When we're really running around, an old fuck buddy comes out from the dead. Like, oh my god. Okay. I haven't heard this name for a while. Okay, so <laughs> this is how we'll start this here. So, uh, long story short, <laughs> it's probably still gonna be a long story, but anyway, uh, my friends actually moved here. Uh, the same weekend, so two, what, two weekends ago? She was breaking them in, fucking with a bang. She yeah. was like, yeah. all right, guys, you want to see how fun my life is down here? Let's go. Yeah, so, um, and uh, Kelly, my best friend, she listens to the podcast, and she's like, I need to, like, meet some of these people. So, you know what? My ass decides to text all of them. All of them. <laughs> and... And by all of them, I mean, I didn't really text them all at the same time. I just kind of reached out to one, found out that they had plans to reach out to the next one, you know, and I that was doing of, that. That's normal. People do that. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just fine. Just prioritize the fuck buddies. It, right. And I won't tell you the order because that'll give away my secrets, but, um, <laughs> so. 
so this is what happened. Diane decides to um Hold on a second. I already yeah, know what you're going to say. This is the thing. I've heard now. I've heard stories from both Carly and Diane and they both blame each other for this. <laughs> okay. Here's what happened is one of Oh, so old, you get to talk about it. No, I just don't. Uh, real quick. One of her old fuck buddies, I'm not sure why he still decides. Is he con- wait, no. Is he considered a fuck buddy? I feel like we dated. Whatever basically. the fuck he is. I don't know. I consider everyone your ex fuck buddy whether you yeah, dated or not. That's true. Oh, that's <laughs> I mean, I just like you didn't ever seem that emotional about him. So. I have zero feelings, y'all. So, I don't know why, but for some reason he'll still send me like random chat messages on Snapchat. Should we say and, how we met them or met men? But he also blocked me. Yeah, he so blocked like, Carly, but he'll still send me random snap messages, just random shit, and I'm like, okay, well, this is weird. So anyways, he had done that the last weekend when we were all out together, and I showed Carly, and she, so I, I took this picture of her, like, after that at some point, I took this picture of it her. It was a cute pic. And yeah. she goes, oh my god, you should send that to this guy and I was like you know what I'm going to what should we call him St. Patty. he needs a name yeah St. Patty because that's when I met him was on okay, St. Patty's sure. Day so Go St. Patty on. so um that's a good one thank you <laughs> So let's just call him Patty. Yeah, Patty. So, yeah, Patty. so I sent this snap to Patty, and he writes back and goes, "Hey, I know her." And all I did was send like those big eyes that are like looking to the, the looking side. Looking eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I just sent a bunch of those, and that was it. And next thing I know, this motherfucker is showing up at the bar. Fucking however many hours later, and Carly <laughs> wants to somehow say that I set this up. Okay, and I did okay, not. all right, yeah. So he, <laughs> she ended up sending that to him or whatever, and he ended up texting me, and I had deleted his number. So I get this random text message saying, "Carly, my name spelled wrong." Let's just say that. <laughs> I didn't know that. My That's name so completely funny. spelled wrong, and I said. That's a huge pet peeve of yours too. Oh, oh my god, yeah, it drives me all the time. Fucking nuts. But I was like, who is this? <laughs> and he said, Diane sent me a picture of you earlier. And I was like, Motherfuck. Oh, are you fucking serious? Motherfucking Patty. <laughs> Motherfucking Patty. It is a fucking and Patty himself. So he's all like, what are you guys doing tonight? Blah, blah, blah. And we were actually going out for Diane's birthday dinner. And I was just like, eh, we're just hanging out. I'm going to go to dinner and then whatever. My ass gets hammered at dinner. <laughs> At dinner, before dinner. Actually, I was pretty hammered. But I wasn't dinner hammered. We had a bar crawl prior to dinner. Carly had a long day at night. Let's just say that. But I didn't get to the point where I was like okay with being like, yeah, come meet us out until after dinner. So I was just like, yeah, calm down, whatever. I knew none of this, by the way. Idiot. So So that's 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 A. That's that's mm-hmm. fuck buddy A. Then we have fuck buddy B. So <laughs> fuck buddy B So as fuck buddy A is at the bar with Carly, randomly shows up this guy hasn't been in the picture for literally like eight. A months. year. Yeah. Literally a year. Yeah. Not a year. So um, now he's there. Fuck buddy A is there. Now guess who the- shows up, y'all? Fuck guess buddy B. Who shows up? Nipple boy. Nipple? Nipple boy shows up to the bar, and you know what? If I had just seen him, I think everything would have been just fine. I probably would have just walked up to him and been like, hey, what's up? As she's got her fucking tongue down this guy's throat that... Fucking, yes. she used to be fun. And like, Patty's, let's, Patty's let's clear this up a little bit for you guys. Is that it wasn't that Carly just had this ex boyfriend, fuck buddy, whatever she wants to call him, Patty. That's not his real name, by the way. People don't fucking like him. <laughs> Patty. Like, yeah. Fucking Patty. For anyone just tuning in. No, just kidding. But anyways, <laughs> so it, it wasn't just like her and Patty were hanging out and then Nipple comes along. Like, they are like <laughs> all, all over on each, each other. other, like down each other's throats sexually. I like don't recall time. this, but I but don't trust doubt Trust us, it was happening. Yeah, like don't doubt turn it. Around your, thro- your throat. Your throat was down. <laughs> so, okay. Anyways, so the nipple man's there. Yeah. And, and also, um, so if I had just seen him, like I said earlier, I would probably would have just walked up to him and been like, hey, especially in my drunken stupor. But um, one of his friends actually walked up to me. Instigator. Literally mm-hmm. grabbed me by the shoulders and like cornered me and was like, just so you know, 
I was gonna say his name. Wow. Uh, Nipple Boy is here. <laughs> Obviously, it's not Nipple what he said. But exactly. Nipple Boy is here with another girl. Can I just want to let you know. He came up to me and said the same thing, and I like booked it towards you. I was like, Carly, what is going on here? Yeah. I did not know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I was like, so. I was like, you're here with St. Patty. He's here with another girl, supposedly, and I'm just like, this is like a whole movie. Yeah, it, it's, this is just my life, y'all. I I mean, I wasn't it shocked. <laughs> it, it, it just, I don't know, it just keeps continuing getting better, but, uh, so yeah, so he comes up to me, makes this huge deal about Nipple Boy being there with another girl. Apparently, then I just start crying. Which, aka, Nipple Boy really wasn't that upset about anything, yeah. you know, and he... Oh, no, yeah, we talked, uh, Nipple Boy is like one of my, he is my comrade. I yeah, love he's that like kid. her BFF, really, but they fuck. Legit, like, I... about that. He's just great. Yeah, like, he doesn't get butthurt about anything, but Carly, in her drunken stupor, thought that he would be butthurt, or she was butthurt, or we're really not I sure. just, I just think I was drunk and felt highly uncomfortable about the uncomfortable about the situation I was in and I didn't want to like make anyone feel uncomfortable so that's what I'm assuming so moral of the story is then Carly ends up telling Tanya that she doesn't know what she's doing with Patty but then ends up going home with Patty that night <laughs> and leaving yeah. her friends who just got here for their first week they told me to <laughs> well then that alright well I didn't know that either they, so t- they were fine with it that's cool I, they're good friends they're like yo get your pussy yeah. fucked yeah. on the I mean and also, Nipple Guy's girl was literally just a friend. Uh, yeah. So, his friend started instigating for absolutely no reason, made this huge deal. And actually, I was trying to get um, Nipple Boy on the podcast this week, but he's a he's a busy boy. He's too he's popular for us. He's fucking his friend that's yeah. supposedly just his friend. Maybe. I'm kidding. I I'm kidding. Okay, but then we have to get to fuck buddy number or letter C. <laughs> Now, there's a third party, which yeah, Carly, I don't I think you, you even know this. about this, Carly, or maybe you don't remember this. Maybe I didn't tell So, you Carly that. had apparently at some point in the night <gasps> last day... Yeah, oh, my it. God, I forgot about this! He shot to fuck buddy C, who... The one that, the one that Diane actually wants me Yeah, that I actually like this guy. I'd so, be down to date him, too. Hey, shout out. <laughs> he gives me a call as I'm in my... Oh, he called home. me four times. Yeah. No coincidence, Diane called me four times on the way back to the Uber <laughs> to tell me this. Yeah, so he calls me, and he's like, hey, what's up? I'm just trying to get a hold of Carly. Um, she, like, asked me about hanging out tonight, and <laughs> I'm trying to get a hold I of her. I just think it's so funny, because this is at, like, 1, 1 a.m., and he is, like, notorious yeah, for, for coming, coming sh- in... Showing up like, only at 1 a.m. At 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so I'm like, um, yeah, I'm actually not with Carly right now, but if you want to, like, come hang out, I mean, maybe she'll come back to the house at some point tonight. I'm not really sure what's going on. He's like, all right, cool. I'll just keep trying to get a hold of her. Clearly, he was like, I'm not hanging out with your fucking bitch ass. You'll put on, <laughs> you'll put on fucking Glee radio and make me fucking oh sit God. there and sing show and tunes. And sour beers. Oh, my yeah. God. I woke up the next morning seeing, like... A- I obviously opened them drunkenly that night, too, but, like, I just remember seeing that the next morning, and I'm just like, wow. So Carly's, like, usually, like, I can't get fucking laid. My vagina's fucking lonely. (laughs) And then all three dudes in one night, and fucking... So anyways, so she goes home with that fucking asshole, A, Patty, and now hasn't heard back from him, and... Oh, no. A fucking asshole. Not true. Oh, you told him? That's the last I heard. So, ever since then... Um, actually, I'm pretty sure he wants to wife me up, so. Wow, okay, well, shit has changed since the last I talked yeah. to Yeah. Are we I talking mean, about Patty? Yeah. How oh. many dudes trying to wife you up now, dude? I've got a few. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm marrying for money at this point. Um. Oh, yeah, and then, actually, speaking of marrying for money, another one of Carly's friends <laughs> this past weekend... Fucking met Ray Lewis, which I'm fucking really jealous about. Yeah. Ray Lewis literally killed somebody. 
I don't care. I love Ray Lewis. And <laughs> yeah. He probably had... I only loves Ray Lewis because he was... He probably had a good reason. reason. <laughs> the only reason she loves him. He you guys probably wanna, had a good reason, though. You guys want to hear what happened to me this Sunday? No, wait. We have to... We Let's have get to get some football here. Yeah, we have we, to get into we, our football first. Yeah, we haven't talked football you. at all yet. Yeah. Okay, fine. So, real quick, we're Tanya and I are just going to give a couple of our start sits from last week. Can and I just here. start, like, with the shit show that I gave? Of what? The shit show that I gave for wide receivers. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, so I said start Chris Godwin. He got fucked. He obviously got hurt with his hamstring. Okay, that was but a good he pick still, But he still got 14.6. So, Damn. I mean, it's all right. It's not his best, obviously, but he would have kept going if he didn't get hurt. <laughs> but <laughs> I also said to sit Julio Jones. Yeah, who fucking... Which, thank God, I did not... Take my own advice because I knocked Diane out of the playoffs with him. Barely. Barely. Like Yay. six fucking points, and that's. I'm blaming that on the fact that I didn't start Le'Veon Bell the week before. If I would have done that, I would. I'm gonna be honest. Le'Veon Bell was out the week before. That's what I'm saying. I, that's what I meant that he wasn't playing. I did start him, you and he wasn't him. playing. You didn't even, she was up on me by like 65 points, by the way. I haven't even I mean, looked at that such league. Such a comeback. <laughs> Yeah, Tanya, nobody cares about that league. I don't even care, all right? She, you didn't care all fucking season, but now that she's about to win $35. Oh, shit, I'm about to win. She's like, I'm about to win $35, motherfucker. I can't. $35 is $35. I can't even use my debit card right now, so. The $200 league, now the $35 league is next up, so that's what I'm going for. (laughs) So anyways. um, So yeah, he got 31.9 points, so I hope you didn't sit him. Well, I feel like none of my picks were, like, especially great, except I did say to sit Hooper, which I feel like I saw a couple, like, a few um, people that we follow on Instagram, like, fantasy people saying that you should start him, and he fucking shit the bed, so I hope you listened to me and didn't play Hooper. Also, I hope you started Ingram for the Ravens. Actually, I hope you started every single player for the Ravens against the Jets, because Every single one of them did amazing, and Ingram had a great game. And besides that, everybody else was just kind of average, not really worth mentioning, except sitting the Bears' defense was also a good call. They had, like, three points, which was a good Yeah, I had my, both my tight end choices were good. I said start George Kittle, which may or may not have been kind of obvious, but, I mean, he's, yeah, I feel like but he's been hurt recently, Kittle. too, so some people had him on the bench. But he, I said start George Kittle, 19.9 points, and I said sit Hunter Henry, and he got 1.9 so that was good. And then for defense, obviously, this one was a very obvious one. Start the Patriots against the Bengals. They got 19 points. Yeah. But I also said sit the Jaguars, and they only got four. Boom. So. No hope for me, but y'all can. Yeah, Carly, what you got? <laughs> uh, like I healed back, and. Uh, and I'm sorry for anyone that I said to start Emmanuel Sanders because he did not do shit. <laughs> So I'm sorry for that. I fuck fuck Emmanuel Sanders. You can just sit him the rest of the fucking season for all I care. Suck it, Sanders. All right. So with that, we do have some more sit starts for this week, but we're gonna let Carly tell her story that is burning out of her yeah, soul she's been very right now. Excited to because we that. haven't heard it yet either. So I'm very excited <laughs> to hear it, and then we'll go into. Sorry if you hear Our final sit that. starts. <laughs> our final sit starts for the week. I or, feel like... For the season, really, but... I feel like nothing can compare it to, like, the story we just told, because that shit is just... That doesn't happen to anyone but me. But, so, this weekend, I decided, hey, why not add another band into oh the magazine? <laughs> you know... I'm gonna um, need more wine for this whole one. <laughs> One of these days, I'm just... Tanya and I just start drinking immediately (laughs) as she starts the story. To be honest, I'm, like, fully convinced that, like, I can't have, like, deep connections with men anymore, so... So it's gonna be women. Maybe. I don't know. (laughs) I honestly think maybe you should switch it up just for, like... Maybe, maybe like I'll just switch months. teams here. Maybe it's six months. January 1st to January 31st. You know what? That's her New Year's Sean resolution. Chloe's New Year's resolution is going to be going lesbian for a couple months uh, and seeing if that works out in your favor because you're not it's doing It's not working out. Anyway. All right. So go ahead and tell us what happened. Uh, so I decided to throw another man in the mix here. And you know what? Like, he put valiant effort in. And, and I First of all, like, can we start with how did you meet this guy? Uh, he DM'd me on Instagram, actually. Slid right in them DMs, you know? 
Okay. I don't know where he got my Instagram from, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, honestly. I have no idea. Because you said he's from yeah. Orlando, right? Yeah, he's from That's Orlando. That's the most I knew about him, is that he's from Orlando. Yeah, and um, super Spanish, literally. Uh, oh, wait, you was, told us about him. Was born in Madrid. Yeah, I showed oh, you him, yeah. did I? Oh, okay, yeah. So we know about this guy. Yeah, we, yeah, know. we you, just don't know. We know a little bit about him. Yeah. He's Very, the one that didn't know what fantasy football was, and, mm, nor a fantasy yes. football podcast, and Ugh. I was disgusted at that. Yeah. But I mean, it's probably just his culture. It's fine. He he watches soccer. Whatever. So. The other football. The Not other a fan. football. Um. So yeah. I decide I'm gonna let him come over on Sunday, and um, we we plan on like doing some things and just like hanging out on a at home Sunday. Too. Yeah. Yo, I feel like that's the worst day to fucking hang out with anyone for the first... Actually, that's not true. That's when I hung out with Josh for the first time. <laughs> Don't retract that statement. Continue your story. Well, it was the worst day because um, he came over and, like, he's, like, apparently super fucking shy, which was unbeknownst to me. Uh, he didn't seem like it to me anyway, and I can't deal with shy. I mean, let's be honest. Josh is shy. Like, Josh is not shy. Josh is shy. Josh is very shy. Okay, We've got him broken now yeah. for you. He was very shy when, when I brought him around. When he first he was shy. Super shy. But okay. he's still very shy, but he might not seem it to you because he's comfortable with you, but there's still people he's very shy around. Anyways, continue. Yeah, I feel like no one can even be shy with me. I'm very, like, open and open, like... I'm usually kind of shy. I think he's never the, shy around Carly. I yeah, think the like, first I time you farted in front of Josh, he was just like, all right, fuck it. I don't need to worry about anything at this yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm very comfortable to be around. Yes. Anyway, um, so he comes over. She's like, when well, I've got a fart that can come out, I need to get it out while I can. Yeah, it's coming right the fuck out. I can't um, hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> but he uh, meets my roommates, my best friends. He like, did what? He he met my roommates, like, oh. real briefly. He was very quiet, like, really awkward. And I was just like, oh, well, he just, like, feels a little uncomfortable. It's Why fine, didn't he just whatever. be like, you want to take a couple shots, bro? He doesn't drink. Oh, no. Ooh. That's the second guy. That Another have, problem. That you have, like. Who was the first one? Uh, yeah. Why do you hang out with these people? It'd be one thing if you didn't. I didn't know this was the case, okay? That would be, I mean, I'm saying it's good that there's people out there like that because there's plenty of people who don't drink, but you love to drink, so I feel like that makes it a little difficult. I know, I know. Probably that's like your main fucking hobby is (laughs) drinking. That's really sad. You make me sound like I have a problem. Why? Anyway, so he, he's just like really super fucking shy. Actually, guys, she's blaming on the shine. It's the real problem was that he didn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. So, okay. So, like, I went to go, like, put on football on our, like, living room. Jesus, I thought you were going to say lingerie. That's not <laughs> Why did we both think that? Because it's Carly. That is so weird. Yeah, but she's, like, talking about their hanging out with her best friends in the living room. And then we just both thought she was going to say, <laughs> I went to dick. put on something sexy. I don't even own lingerie. I I literally thought that's what you were gonna say. Oh, that I'm definitely thought that too. Anyway, I went to go like play football on the TV, like in the living room, just so that we were all like, just like together, you know, like trying out. to fucking dim the or like yeah, not dim, like get rid of the silence. Like, yeah, and this should have been this should have been my first sign of just like no. He was like, why don't we just like go hang out in your room? Ew. Oh my god! I'd be like, what are we fucking? 17 years old, like, we got to hide from mom and dad in the bedroom. Exactly. So I was like, okay, I mean, in my head, I'm like, okay, he's uncomfortable, so whatever. We'll go in my room. Even we'll it's not like it. Kelly and Aubrey are even, like, hard to be around. That there. is my thought process, too. And I told him that, okay, I haven't even gotten there yet. Anyway, so we go in my room. We watch football for a bit. We're, like, just watching football. He's watching soccer on his computer, too, oh, at the same time. Um, so, like, we're Ew! Like, I'm like, I'm like, like all right, it. it's time for you to pack your shit yeah. up and get out. Like, get your fucking computer. What? It sounds like he brought his fucking life inside of your house. Get, so get your fucking shoes on, get your computer, worse. and get the fuck out. Like, like that's it, it gets worse. Let this, her say it. This isn't even... This isn't even... I'm just saying that would have been enough for me to fucking pull the plug right there. <laughs> time to leave, buddy. So then he's like, um, I'm hungry. And you know me, I rarely... I'd be like, why didn't you bring me food, motherfucker? I'm hungry too. Okay, yeah, so, like, I rarely eat. So, like, 
Not I. I just <laughs> was like, okay, if you're hungry, like, we can either go get food or whatever. Ew, tell me he was indecisive as fuck. No, he decided he wanted to get something delivered to the house because he didn't want to leave my room. What? Yeah. Oh, he didn't want to go out back back out to the living room. Yeah. What do you think the delivery people are going to come right up to your room? Oh, oh, he expected me to go get it. Oh. Well, yeah. whatever. So whatever. So we order food, and by we I mean he orders food. Um, I go to the door, get it, give it to him, whatever. Jesus, and what were Kelly and Aubrey doing at this point? They're like, "Why are you guys just like?" Chill? And I was like, "I was like." Not saying it out loud, I was just like, I don't fucking know. He's being maybe he weird. has really bad anxiety. No, don't give him excuses, Diane. Okay, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> I know for me, sometimes if I'm feeling really anxious, I don't want to be around people, especially people I don't know. But whatever. He no, should've... so we like spent the whole fucking day in my room, and if you know me, I feel so I. Phobic. I don't do that shit. Like, and you couldn't do anything. You literally just sitting on the bed while he was watching soccer. And I was, I mean, I was watching football, so it wasn't absolutely terrible. That like, would be, I was so just he, like watching. I'm saying football. he was doing his own thing. You were doing your own thing. Both. Sitting he was around. kind of also watching both, just so that he could like kind of converse with me about football too. But like, yeah, it was just care. like, and he was the whole entire day. He's like, "This is the best day ever," and I'm like, <laughs> "Holy <laughs> shit!" That makes me want to fucking vomit. Dude, that yeah. actually fucking scares me like legit yeah like he was like oh him. we're just chilling in bed all day I got food delivered like we're watching football and maybe he football actually and- does drink and he had a fucking really rough night the night before <laughs> and he's like god and damn it gave all- it up. yeah he's nope. like now all yeah now i suddenly don't drink anymore because i'm so hungover <laughs> that i'm sober now and i'm telling this bitch i don't drink i so wish that was the case Quite the opposite. He said, I've done this all weekend, and I've been so happy about it. I actually do this every single day. That freaks me out. So what does he do for work? He owns a business, so he only works, like, two hours a day. Oh, well, that's Realistically, nice which is nice, but... Me. Yeah, honestly, I'll fucking say... I'll be nice to him. him. <laughs> but he literally just doesn't do anything ever. Like, you can lay in my bed all you want. Uh, okay, so this happens... We're in bed for, like, literally five hours Did you guys, point. like, do anything sexually while you're in the bed? We, like, made out, and he was a horrible kisser. Okay. Absolutely. Like, was he one of those that, like, tongues way too much? Yeah, so this is what he was doing with his tongue. Ew, I'd be like, what are you... Fucking? First of all, you go like this, but also delicately inside at a I like how you're case. doing it like our listeners. Like our listeners, like our listeners can... Just we'll so that you can see video Carly do it. Yeah, yeah, like... Like, <laughs> like if you're not, not you do, and this please is don't one. vertically flick your tongue up and down in someone's mouth. Yeah, you look like fucking Free Willy when he's waiting, like, for a fish to be thrown <laughs> in his mouth, like... Uh, uh. <laughs> to be honest, I was just waiting for the whole day to be over. But then, so we were. Him out. All right, so you're making out, and then he didn't try to like feel your tits or anything. Oh, he was trying real hard, and I told him right. I even told him before he even came over. I'm like, I'm not having sex with you, just so you know, because he had to drive two hours. So like, I felt. Not isn't that so fucked up that I felt the need to tell him that even though he's driving two hours, I ha- I felt the need oh, to I tell him that I wasn't gonna fuck him. Yeah, yeah I would have done the same. same. I would have done the same thing. I feel I mean, like it's that's just expected. That we have to do that, but no, I feel like it's expected and. It's it's fucking bullshit. Well, isn't that, that's what I'm that. saying. It's fucked up that I felt the need to say that I wasn't having sex with him. I think so that's like, what our next podcast should be about on the off season is about fucked up shit that's going on these days in the world. Yeah. And how we might I, have to do. Yeah. Like, like fucking that. mental health, having such a bad rep, fucking girls just being treated like pieces of shit. Fucking girls that are literally 12 years old that feel like all they have to do is try to get Instagram likes. Like, when I was 12 years old, that is not what I was fucking doing. Yeah, it's fucked up. So, anyways, finish your story. I don't want to get off on a tangent. But, yeah, so I decided eventually, like, I was, like, so sick of being in my room. And I heard that Aubrey and Kelly were playing dominoes out out in the kitchen. I and I was like, domino snapchats. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh, my God, let's go play dominoes. And he was like, oh. I don't think I've ever played dominoes. I've never. I, oh, my I, God, it's I so always used to just, like, stack them up, but I never actually Yeah, I used to do it so you would, like, tap, tap yeah, it, and then it'd be like, Brrr. As soon as you start playing what we play, you guys are going to be fucking hooked. It's so much fun. But, All so right, I was so like, yeah, fine. let's go play dominoes. Like, I'm, uh, at this point, I'm like, in my room for so long and I don't do this like I don't just lay around all day unless I'm like ill ill. so 
I was like, yeah, let's go play dominoes. And he was just like, um, I'll be out in a second. And I was like, yeah. he's probably jerking his fucking jerking. I was like, okay. So like, I just went out and started playing with them. And then like, I went in to check on him and was like, are you coming out? And he's like, no. Ew, you went to check on him. Because he wasn't coming out. That's what I'm saying. Like, he was in there still that long. Yes. I was like, are you coming out or no? And he was like, yeah, no. That's just fucking weird. Like, I've been in here all day. Like, what am I supposed to go out there and just be like, hey, to your friends? And I'm like, yeah. They don't give any fucks. Like, what do you I mean? Like, okay, well, if you're going to sit in They're even room, more saying, what the fuck, that you're still sitting in here while we're playing fucking dominoes and you're just... Yeah, that's way weirder. Yeah, and he was starting to, like, make me feel like an asshole. Like, why the fuck... He literally was just like, why would I go out there right now? Like, being rude about it. And I was like, okay, you're fucking weird. And it was just... It was not so, so, so then what happened? So, like, I, I ended up, we stopped playing um, dominoes. So I, then we play domino, not dom, wow, I can't talk. Dominoes, as long as we humanly fuckingly possibly. Yeah. What are you saying? As long as we humanly fucking possibly could. Yeah. So that she didn't have to go and talk to him anymore, hoping that he would just leave. Yeah, and he, he didn't leave. Um, I ended up going back in the room and just being. How, ever how long, like two hours? At least an hour and a half, yeah. Ew. So I went back in there and um, I laid down and I was just like, ass. at that point it was honestly my bedtime anyway. <laughs> but wow, um, so you guys were literally in there all fucking day. Yes, yes. Yeah. I would have been miserable. It was awful. Even like Bobby likes to sit on his computer a lot of the time, which is I that's fine with me. But oh, I'm gonna I leave. Deal, I go shopping. Do. I go do something. I anything, get out of just like anything. Yeah, and it was just, and he was just like so into it. He was like, "I love this. This is great." And I'm like, "This well, is thank absolutely God you don't know. miserable." So, so then how did you time, get him the fuck out of here? Um, he just spent the night, to be honest. Um, I was like, I need to go to bed, and he like, I didn't sleep an ounce that night because he's such. Oh, this a is another horrible bag. thing. He's such a night cuddler, like, when you're sleeping. And do not fucking touch me when I'm trying to sleep. But he yeah. did, and... Yeah, I got a pillow between me and Bobby when we sleep. I'm yeah. not trying to be rude, but why didn't you just go out to the couch and say, fuck yeah? I know. I'm not trying to be rude, but why didn't you just say, fuck yeah, get out of my house? I... Yeah, that's him. I don't know, he was... Well, at that point, it's like it's a drive two hours, so she doesn't want to be a... Even, you know. Yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like like, at that point I'd be like. Look, all I'm saying is if I was out playing dominoes with my roommates and he was sitting in in my room by himself for I'd be like, are you hiding from the cops in my room? He was in there. I would have been like, look, if you're going to sit in this room by yourself, you can just go home. Yeah, like, how do you do it? And so. And that would actually take a lot for Tanya to say that for everyone who doesn't personally know Tanya. Tanya's there's a very things, tolerant person. Am, but there's certain things that irk me to the point so, where I will yeah. say something. For Tanya to fucking actually get that driven nuts that she'd fucking speak up and say that, like, it's got to be bad. It so. takes a lot for me to, like, lose really her cool. lose my cool, but I... Me, on the other hand, like Diana, I said, as soon as... Like, well, set Diane off. But... As soon as he was watching soccer and said he didn't drink <laughs> alcohol, I'd be like, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> like, that would have been the end of it. Yeah, so... You'll be proud of me here. Um, so last night, like, so he was texting me the next Why day. the fuck were you still talking to him? <laughs> no, like, so he texted me on Monday. He and makes I was fucking like, Patty look really good. <laughs> yeah, he does. Because I actually have fun with Patty. I mean, we always have fun. I like Patty. I mean, as a friend. I yeah. don't like him for you as, like, a boyfriend. But I like Yeah, him I think he's a skis ball, friend. kind of. I mean, he's I didn't even mean as a person. I just meant, like, as someone, like, to party with. He's fun. Yeah, like, he's just it. a fun time. That's as far as that He's good. just, like, a fun time. But, um, no, so he... Uh, so this guy on Sunday, uh, on Monday, he was texting me and like acting like everything was normal because maybe he thinks that is fucking normal. No, it was, really it was disturbing. normal for him. And honestly, I don't think I gave off the vibe that like I wasn't into it because like I felt awkward. Like he was you probably were like, Oh my God, yeah. I love this. No, 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 no. I wasn't like that at I've all. I've been but... like, dude, I'm fucking so miserable right now. Like I can't sit in here another second. Long. Yeah. I should have been honest then, but I wasn't. And cause it was awkward, but, yeah, I... um, so then he was like texting texting me on Monday and I just like obviously wasn't answering like I normally would have and um he was like you just like don't like me anymore do you I'd be like you're fucking damn right I don't and so like you know like (laughs) this is what 
what's Bingo, fucked up. Bingo, buddy. Goodbye. Don't but, eat my number. But this is what's fucked up, though. Like, in our day and age, normal people, all of us would just, like, ghost them, block their number, just not even respond to them. And I was not going to do that. Like, I think oh, he's I a nice know. guy. Oh, I would have used that as my I said I do that all the time. I did that all the <laughs> yeah, time. So exactly. And, and, and I'm still doing that all the time. And to be honest, any, like... Any text I get from a guy, ghosted. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, like, that's an easy way out. And honestly, I've been ghosted before, so I know, like, how it feels. And, like, I don't think he's a bad person. We just don't vibe well is the only issue. Like, it's just, like, we want okay, different things, you, you know? Yeah, exactly. And that's what I did. I could have ghosted him, and I just told him I said hey I just don't think like we're compatible and he kept saying well we only hung out once I like, like that's all don't it know took. if we're compatible or not or whatever. all I needed I just, was that one time to confirm and I was just like hey I'm just trying to be nice about this like I didn't want to just like blow you off I just wanted to be honest I whatever. let you sit I let Wait. sleep in my house so you didn't have to drive two hours home yeah literally but it's good that you said that and hopefully you didn't take offense to it no and like- and that's what I said. I was like, and he ch- kind of tried to argue with me about it. And I was like, you know what? I, I Holy don't... shit. If someone's literally telling you, hey, listen, we're just not compatible. Why the fuck are you arguing with yeah. it? Like, I'm I not going to. I know. It's not about being wrong or otherwise. right. I actually felt bad for him because he really did like me. But like, but it's I... not about being like wrong or right. It's like, yeah. I'm not feeling it. I'm sorry. Okay. And I had the, and I had the respect to say that to him. So it's whatever. I, I ended up just being like. No, right, now want, I'm gonna go see if you text me one more time. No, it's like I just I don't want to fight with you about it, but it's just it, it's just not, not working. working. And he was like, okay, no worries. Like I I'm really glad that I met you. And so like that was it. But ew. Yeah, like dropping that fucking but you know guilt what? line on you. But you know what? I actually Thanks for the memories. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm fucking proud of myself because it's so much easier just to fucking ghost people and you know what? I just wanted to be honest and just like Dude, I have a problem mate cuz I would have a really hard time ghosting someone like if somebody reached out to me after an experience like that, I would be just sitting there. I couldn't wait to tell them how fucking much I hated <laughs> everything. Like no, I, I was a ghoster. No, I would be the type of person that's just like like, oh, like, actually, well, first of all... I was kind of honest. I, I told him that I didn't like how unsociable he was. Well, and so the thing with me is that you are... I'm, like, the total opposite. So I feel like Tanya and I are completely opposite, and Carly's, like, somewhere in the middle. Like, I'm so <laughs> extremely... Full ends of the spectrum. Yeah, no, yeah. I am, like, literally so extremely blunt, and, like, so if we were sitting there in that moment in time and that fucking happened to me, I would be like... I I can't stand this. Like, I'm just going to be honest. Like, if this is literally what you want to do all day, like, this isn't working. Like, I can't just sit here and waste my Sunday doing absolutely nothing. Like, we have to do something else. Unless I was hungover, which, in that case, whatever, fine. I have no problem wasting my Sunday. But, like, if that's, like, what he does for enjoyment, like, all yeah, like the time. Yeah, like, he loves it. Yeah, I would be like, this isn't going to work. Like, fine, today we can do this. But if this is what you want to do for fun all the time, like, it's not going to work out. Where I feel like I could see Tanya being very kind and polite about it until it gets to the point where he's going to be unsociable and a dick to a, Well, not a dick, but just. Well, it's it is going to be a dick. Move. Yeah. Like, if you're not, not going to come hang out with my roommates, like, you're not going to get along. So. Yeah. Yeah. But you, uh, it's, you're like in the middle of us where you like you know you I am honestly such a people pleaser like oh god not me I <laughs> Diane and I are not people pleasers in different ways yeah <laughs> I'm like I want to tell you to go fuck yourself Tony's like I don't want to tell you to go fuck yourself it's like but just go away but yeah, just, but fuck just disappear out of my life <laughs> but I'm like I want to tell you to go fuck yourself and then yeah, Carly's like, like, like I love you to please don't be mad but it's just not gonna work out but please I'll still buy your gas for coming to see me from yeah Orlando. exactly that is me that is so me like I like it's so fucking no. bad I know I, saw I have to be like that all day long at work to please my clients but I don't yeah. want to be like that in real life oh, I same, literally I just, don't I, have that part of my brain like somewhere along the way that part of my brain got fucking dissipated like it sounds I don't know like, what happened but I just have never ever been like a uh, I literally hear people, like, on the phone, like, being so nice to people, and I just cannot fathom doing that. Like, I'm just, like, I don't <laughs> understand how you're not just, like, letting this I literally happen. have to do that all day, every time. No, I do that all the time. I, I will sit there and let my my client scream at me, but then, and I'll like, sit there in silence, and then as soon as they're never. done, I'm just like, I'm sorry you feel that way. I could <laughs> <Yeah>. never. So, <laughs> Carly, like, knows, like, even if, like, someone on, like, the phone from, like, a food she order is- must be 
Nancy a psycho. <laughs> like, I literally, I that day, I literally looked at her and I was like, I don't know how you're doing that. Like, I could never do that. I almost admire the oh, fact that you're doing this right. Oh, don't be a psycho. It's the fucking truth. These people need to be called on their yeah, bullshit. Yeah, some people do. Like, no, they did. They were fucking rude as hell. Yeah, and I'm like, you can't treat your customers like this. Well, that's this. what I'm saying. Like, but, when, like, when it's deserved, I will do that. Oh, well, if, if if it's even slightly deserved, I will do that. Yeah, I feel like everyone on this podcast probably thinks, like, I'm a dirty, slut piece of shit asshole. Well, I mean, that's okay. But I'm not. <laughs> I am actually, like, I actually appreciate people, and, like, the people that I talk about on this podcast, I literally am genuinely friends with, so it's yeah, like... Yeah, and they're cool. You know, and they're fine with it, so it's like... I, I make connections, and I stick with them. And I mean, me on this hand, thank God I fucking found Josh, because at my old-ass age of 31, I just don't know how people, like, I just can't put up with anyone anymore. It's a struggle. That's the, me, my like, life. That's why I never... The been. single struggle is real. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, I feel bad for you single people out there. That's just, why I'm marrying for money. Dude, and, you know, that's another thing. Like, if we are to do, like, a new podcast talking about this kind of thing, that's a new... Th- another thing is, like, these people coming up in today's day and age, like, dating, like, what the fuck has it turned into? I can't oh, even God. imagine, like, if I were in a high school dating someone, like... Back when I was in high school dating people, it was fun. Like, you love dating. And I, at least I love dating. No, yeah, my friend school. is newly single. And um, she's, like, now on, like, dating apps. And um, it's fucking all dating hell. is now. Like, everybody's she, on dating. Well, like, it's so, like, superficial. Well, she was, she was even just telling me the other day. She's, like, I'm now on Snapchat. And the thing is, like, with guys now, they, like, want to see your face on Snapchat. She missed that whole thing because she was, like, in a relationship. So, like, now it's What do you mean so they want to see different. your face? Like, so, like... Like, when you, catfishing, you mean? People think they're catfishing? Stuff like that. And, like, guys nowadays, like, if they add you on Snapchat, they're like, yeah, send me a picture without filters. And, like, they're like... Oh, well, yeah, I don't blame them. That's because no, everyone's using like, fucking filters. But, like, she nice. missed the whole, like, Snapchat phase. Like, she was uh, in a relationship for so long. So she's like, this is so weird to me. They're so, like forward about you sending them snapchats and like all this stuff and i'm like yeah it's it's an interesting it's an interesting world i think that's why i liked bobby so much is because i met him organically and not through the internet yeah. Dude, Josh is like the most organic person that there is. Like, he doesn't have any Josh, like, media Josh media does not around. even have Instagram. He uses his dog's Instagram yeah. that his sister made him, okay? Like, that's yeah. how he uses Instagram. I mean, but it's just crazy out there. So I feel like that would definitely make for an interesting podcast. I mean, that's something we could definitely ask our listeners if they would want to hear, like, or, yeah. the struggle of today. Plus, but, my life is a fucking joke. So well, and yeah, but, and, but we can relate because Tanya and I are in very different places, like, in our lives lives but also her and I view things a lot as far as like you know the things well, that we, we see t- things from like an outside perspective but we see things and deal with things a lot differently oh, yeah I'm so us. thankful yeah, yeah. I have those guys because like I see things in a completely different light so they like bring another perspective on I bring like the most like, negative perspective Tanya will bring the most optimistic yeah like Diane's like do this do this do this and then Tanya's like bringing me back to earth <laughs> <laughs> wow so I'm just the fucking no because asshole. you make you make things fun though and and, yeah, and that's what's good <laughs> And that's what's good about like, it. And that's as like, extreme as possible. Well, that's the good thing. Carly's in the perfect position here because she has me and you at like the total opposite ends of the spectrum coming together. Exactly. And giving her different it, advice, and she it's can take literally and what she wants to take from each of us. Exactly. It's it's honestly the best. All right. Well, speaking of taking anything from anybody, we should do our start and sits for the week because. Wait, we, we needed to go over injuries, too, because oh, those are really fuck. important. We're right. 47 minutes. Hit them really quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've literally been, while. yeah. We're already on our, like, off-season podcast. Episode. Sorry, y'all. Well, no, but that's good, because we're kind of getting a vibe yeah, for what's last, going on. It, it's our it last episode. It's going to be a little bit of a longer podcast this week, just because it's the last episode. Why don't you finish it? There's going to be a lot for you to cut out. I'm not trying to, no. No, there's not. No, I'm putting this up as is. And Carly, this Wait. bitch... This bitch, literally, I just want to share with everyone that she's finishing her bottle right now, but let me just tell you that she left one centimeter Carly, of wine in the bottom of the bottle and screws the lid back on, and I'm like, what are you okay. literally doing right now? Diane and I are on opposite ends of the spectrum in life other than alcohol. <laughs> We're oh both just like... 
why wouldn't you just fucking oh, finish yeah. your wine? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. Like, why would you I leave didn't realize one it centimeter in there? Like, nobody's gonna drink that. Except I didn't you. realize there was. It's not even like you're close to the top in your glass either. Like, <laughs> yeah, really. You have a full two inches left. All right, hit us with the injuries. Leave me quickly. the fuck alone. <laughs> All right. Carly, Carly needs a minute. All right, injuries. We got Chris Godwin. Obviously, we already spoke about a little bit. My poor with baby. The hamstring injury. When is, since when is he your baby? Maybe. He's from Penn State. He's literally one of my favorite players. I he never is. knew. And that. he's a Bucks player. Diane's yeah. a fan of the Bucks now, by the way. Yeah. Only I mean, because <laughs> they fucking really saved my ass this week with uh, Godwin getting injured and Perryman stepping the fuck Perryman in. Came out of nowhere. Um, All right, so go ahead. Dalvin Cook also got hurt. It's not looking good for him to start no. this week. No, no. So definitely look out for that if you had him. Um, <laughs> Dak Prescott. He had a little bit of an injury to his right index finger. These guys with their fucking fingers. I know, right? He's questionable. I bet he can still finger his wife when he gets home, though. Probably. Skr, skr! <laughs> Flicking that clit real hard. All right. Uh, wait. We didn't talk about drama, either. Go ahead. Well, did you guys hear about Josh Gordon getting suspended? No. No. He is suspended indefinitely for violating the NFL substance abuse policy. Indefinitely? My man. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, a lot of people are saying that it's, like, probably just weed, but a lot of people are also saying it's more than weed. It's probably fucking Adderall. It has to be more than weed if it says indefinitely. I don't know. They do, uh, the last they like weed is like a fucking superhero joke. Like he probably uses that shit at night when he's trying to fucking fall asleep. Like give the guy a break. Well, that's what everyone's saying. Like it that. cannot be just weed. Yeah, there has to be something else going on. Probably. Because that's got it. That's fucked up. Well, everybody's weed is fucking legal is on how many weed. states now? Like, come on. I know. Everyone's arguing that if it's just weed, like, why are you still doing this? Like, it's. Because weed is technically against the NFL's policy. Is yeah. Which is fine, but, like, indefinitely? Like, that's heavy. All right. So. I mean, we're towards the end of the season, so indefinitely could be, like, to the next season. <laughs> indefinitely makes know, me it think, like, it's like, forever. Oh, I thought it meant for the rest of the season. Forever. I took it as the rest of the season. Oh, I took it as legit forever, so. It's not going to be forever. Okay. Either. I doubt it, but... Um, but if also, it is, we'll shit our pants and we'll yeah. let you know next season. Yes, we yeah, will. I'll be like, what the fuck? Josh Gordon's really gone for life. <laughs> Josh Gordon, to be continued. So, also, Kyle Allen is being benched for the Panthers, and they're starting the third-string rookie, Will Greyer? 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 Don't know who that is. Dude. Yeah, because he's a third-string rookie. Yeah, they're struggling. Yeah. Who? Who did you say? I didn't hear who you said. <laughs> Do you want me to start that over? No, go ahead. <laughs> Kyle Allen with the Panthers is being oh, oh, benched. Oh, 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 okay. He's already a second string, so yeah, I didn't know who that was either. Exactly. I missed the Panthers part. Okay, it's the Panthers. So they're like on the same level as the he's Bucks not, right now. Yeah, I'd say close to that. But um, go Bucks, <laughs> go Bucks, go Bucks. <laughs> but yeah, so he's being benched. He's not doing great. And Will Grier, I'm assuming that's how you say his name. It looks like that. Will Grier is starting against the Colts this week. All right. Is that it for our drama? Why is he being benched? Because he's not doing well. Because he fucking sucks. What do you guys think about... Same reason Danny Dimes came in. No, I was just going to say... Oh, well... well, Are you just going to ask where he went? No, I'm pretty sure Danny Dimes is starting again, too. I was going to say, do you guys think Eli is going to be starting again, or do you think Danny Dimes is going to be starting again? I'm pretty sure I heard... I'm not positive on this, but I'm pretty sure I heard that this week was Eli's last week. I kind of feel bad for Eli because, like, possibly forever. Oh, well, good. Get the fuck out of there, asshole. Don't no, but I kind of feel bad for him because, like, how embarrassing. I know. Like, your brother's like this fucking legend, and then you get fucking sat on the sideline for some little fucking well, I mean, asshole. He, previously, he was a he was legend, amazing. too. Yeah. I mean, he just, he mm-hmm. should have retired just, a while ago. I'm saying that would have never happened with Peyton Manning, and that's as far as I'm going with that. Eli Manning Ooh. looks so much younger than Peyton Manning. Don't you think? I'm saying that... No, Peyton, I'm just saying overall, like, looks Oh, he wise. looks? Yeah, Eli Manning looks like a grandfather that just never stopped playing football. <laughs> like, literally, oh. he looks like a fucking grandfather to me. Oh, my me. God. You don't think... I, don't you dare tell me you think he's attractive. I'd he suck his, his saggy balls. You yeah. probably... Oh, uh, you'd shove his saggy balls in your vagina. Oh, wait, I forgot about this. Drew Brees Do people do record. that? Oh, yeah, I saw that. You've never shoved balls in your vagina? Oh, okay. <laughs> 
I thought that's something that everyone's done at least once. No. That probably feels really good, honestly. It does feel really good. I feel like a fucking weirdo now. All right. <laughs> you so, should, because I've never heard of anyone doing that before in my whole entire life. I mean, if you're fucked up enough and you're just having fun, you just want a whole sh- instead shit of, a, of shit Instead of in a there. finger in the asshole, it's a... Uh, ball sack ball with sack the dick in the fucking In vagina. the vagina. <laughs> I'm going to try like, that next time. Get, get as close as you can and shove the balls in there with it. Oh Anyways, my God. Like, Nipple it. boy, it's on... Uh-uh. Boy. All right, let's do our start sit start sits, guys. Damn. All right, let's start with our running backs. Give me your. You want to do sit first or start first? Start. Go Should, ahead, start. Why don't we just? Um, All right. Go say ahead. our sit starts at the same time. You know what I mean? We're going to. Okay. We're yeah. doing running backs. I know. I'm just saying. Do you want to say your starts or your sits first? Starts. Starts, yeah. All right, go ahead. Who's your running back start, Carly? Um, You guys might chew me out for this, and you're probably like, what the actual fuck? But I'm still slightly on the Browns. I'm still slightly on the Browns train here with this running back. I'm going to say play Chubb. Carly's just rest. high on Chubb because he's the only player that, like, kept her out of being last place. Yeah, um, honestly, Chubb is really fucking bomb. And to be honest, I feel like... The Browns' only weapon that they're going to have is Chubb. I don't think they're going to be able to throw the ball efficiently, so um, handing it off to Chubb is... I think they're just fucked all together, but... I, well, yeah, but handing it off to Chubb, I think Chubb is going to get a lot of the points because they're they're really his only hope at this point. So Chubb, I think, is a really good pick. Um, so play him, and then my sit is uh, Snell on the Steelers uh, versus the Jets. <laughs> funny, so story about, about yeah, funny story about funny story about that. Carly's like, you should use Snell as your running back star, and then she's like, just <laughs> kidding, I'm sitting him. So yeah. that's kind of going to be a toss up, I guess. We'll see how he does. But yeah, I think I'm going to be right. But I we'll agree. See. No, I, I agree that he should be sad. Too. We all agree that he should be sad. Oh, okay. No, you are telling me to use him. As a I know. <laughs> Um, I agree. Like, I'm he not should be sad. <laughs> okay. Watch him pop the fuck off. Yeah, so honestly. And then we're going to think that you're like, it's so, to some degree psychic. All I right. Am. So my start sits, I, for running back, have Kenyon Drake starting. He killed it this week. For the Cardinals. Against... Kenyon Drake is a wide receiver. No, he's not. Oh. <laughs> he's not? I mean, is he? Now I feel like I need to look. I thought he was. I mean, I was literally looking at the position when I wrote these, but if I'm wrong, then I'm not fucking prepared right now. (laughs) Let me pause that. Okay, so Kenyon Drake is my start for running backs for the Cardinals against Seattle. And my sit this week is I'm doing the opposite of Carly. Kareem Hunt for Cleveland against Baltimore. I think Cleveland's going to have a really tough matchup this week, and I'm a little bit biased because I love Baltimore, but I think, and it is a division game, so those are usually a little more challenging, but I just, I don't know. Baltimore has been so solid that I think they're going to have a rough week, so. Probably. Go yeah, ahead. I can agree. Um, my start this week is Joe Mixon against Miami. He had a very rough start. Trust me, I know. He was on my team. And is still on my team. But he has definitely made a comeback. He's been doing really well the past probably past several games, probably four or five games. He's done really solid, and they're against Miami this week, so I think it's a good start. Sit, Sony Michelle against Buffalo. Good choice. I yeah. like that one. I think he's going to have a difficult time for sure. He, he really hasn't been doing much. Uh, I mean, last week uh, he's he did so some, he had some decent plays, but um, as far as the Bills defense yeah, against the, the Patriots, so that's good. gonna be they got like 19 points this week. Yeah, I'm good. actually really excited to watch that game. Me too. To be honest, that's that was actually one. a really good game. If yeah. for anyone who didn't watch it, you fucking missed out. <laughs> All right, Tony, go ahead to your wide receivers. Okay, I got Devontae Parker against the Bengals. Start set. Start. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I okay. am on board with that one. Yeah, I know. Diane. Diane's always been high on Devontae Parker. I, Because he's good. I mean, he's had I mean, he's the best Miami player. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. Yeah, he's like, you're saying with Devontae Parker. I yeah. disagree, but I'll talk about that later. All right. Well, I, well, I know who you're going to say. So. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, and then I say sit Jarvis Landry against the Ravens. You're welcome, Diane. Yes. 
Uh, Tanya and I are on the same page. <laughs> We're battling Carly. She's like, Cleveland's coming back. Which, actually, I think Cleveland is one of the teams that beat the Ravens this year. One of the only teams that beat the Ravens this year. I think year. they were, actually. You're right. Yeah, so it could be a really tough. That's why I picked Chubb, y'all. Yeah. Okay, so for my wide receiver, my start is going to be Perryman. Perryman. Shocker. Perryman. For the Bucks. Um, so I actually am playing briefcase Bobby in the, the final round. Ba, ba, ba. And I thought I was fucked because Mike Evans got hurt last week. Well, now technically, I guess two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, he has Godwin. I am totally, totally yeah, fucked. Diana here. lucked out in every I shit way. my pants and then I I was I like picked up all these random people from the waiver wire and then was dropping them, like literally just picking someone up, dropping them, picking them up, dropping them. And then I saw this pyramid guy and I was like, I don't fucking know. This guy probably isn't gonna do shit. Godwin's gonna get all the work, but I'm gonna take a chance on him and see what happens. And this guy popped off. He got over thirty. And then Godwin points. got hurt, like in the middle of, or, like in the beginning of the game. No, it was he in the beginning touchdown. before yeah. Godwin even got hurt. He oh, like wow. popped off. He did amazing. Jack, so yeah, Winston was just like targeting him. Yeah, every time. No, the Bucks are killed it this week. So they're I'm on saying a four game win streak. Yeah, they're killing it. I mean, they're out of the playoffs, but they're on a four game win streak. I'm saying it right now. It's because I'm a good fucking luck charm because I just keep going to the games. So I'm saying that I'm pretty sure that like two out of the three games that we went to, they lost. <laughs> no, only one. Only one that we went to what they lost. I'm saying even though we're not still doing waiver pickups, if Perryman's available on the waivers, pick his ass up and start <laughs> his ass. He I mean, Godwin's out now. Evans is out. They are talking about possibly starting Evans this week if they absolutely have to, just because they absolutely but want to. But even if they do, he's going to be limited. Yeah. yeah. Perryman is. I'm. And I mean, they got Peyton Barber. Yeah. But he hasn't. He's been really lacking, but he hasn't been getting targets either. So. So I'm just saying. Well, kind of has. <laughs> Perriman for the Bucks. Start him if he's on your waivers. Pick him up. Start him. I have faith in this guy. He did really good. Watch him fucking shit the bed this week, and I'm gonna lose to Bobby because of it. But I mean, it's possible. <laughs> Whatever. Come back, bitch. I would say pick him up and start him. And for my sit. I know this is kind of a ballsy one, but I would say sit Tyreek Hill for the Ooh, Chiefs. I almost said that, actually. Against the Bears. But also, the Bears haven't really been performing their defense mm. as much as they usually do. Uh, that's my pick, Tanya. Okay. Take it or leave it. You All just right. said you thought that was a good I one. That's why I didn't pick him. Um, uh, we'll see on that one. That's going to go either one way or the other. I don't think there's Yes, gonna... it will, Carly. Well, the thing is, is correct. But I just don't think there's going to be very like gray area there he's either gonna pop off or he's just not i think um yes, that is accurate uh as far as my wide receiver i'm playing hopkins on the texans versus the bucks you're starting, you're starting him? him starting him yes i have such a love-hate relationship with that little asshole yeah i think i think he's going to do well versus the bucks so i think the, the bucks are gonna have a difficult uh Run against him. I don't know what I was trying to say there. But, <laughs> um, but I'm, of course, going to uh, sit OBJ versus He the needs Rams. to be sat, that little fucker. First of all, OBJ should have been sat the whole season, but I just kept trying and trying. Yeah, I have, against the Ravens. I have faith in that motherfucker, too. But against the Ravens, I ain't got faith Look, in that. Look, he no doesn't need. have shit He needs to ever. get his ramen hair back, and then he'll be back in his game. Maybe, no, I don't think maybe so. that's his issue. But, yeah, OBJ needs to just, at this point, maybe he should just retire. Probably have I think he should money. come to the Ravens, and then he'd have a career. He needs a new team. Save That's what I'm team. saying. Come to the Ravens and he'll be good. I don't know if he needs to be saved though. Like he yes, hasn't. He, he has gotten throws multiple times this season and have literally blown every single one. He has Baker as his quarterback. He, he Baker was accurate on the throws that he was giving him though, and he was literally just Bable. like not in it. Like it was just like he just pussy. Uh, maybe he just doesn't give a shit because he's playing for the Browns. Which yeah, maybe he just like lost all. I'm pretty sure he's secretly. Not so secretly, wants to obviously get traded. Maybe but, um, he's not I, he's seeing not, that he wants to get traded. Damn. Well, he's also just like not even trying he's to not be good either. either. So that's what she's saying that he's purposely not trying to be good because he wants to get traded. Right? Isn't that what you're trying to say? I wasn't 
really no, because who's going to pick him up if he's not playing well? Because, because they know he has the potential. potential. I guess, but I don't know. He's a fucking I mean, mess. all right, well, if sit his, his ass. Are seeing it, I'm sure coaches sit his playing. motherfucking ass, because he ain't doing shit. All right, all right I'm going to go to quarterback. I'm going to be starting, this is a fucking shot in the dark, too, Tannehill against the Saints. Ooh, shot in the dark, he's killing it. Well, he's against the Saints. Yeah, I mean, well... I'm just saying, I, I think it's a good matchup, and Tannehill's been doing well, so I would start Tannehill this week. I would sit Josh Allen against the Patriots. That should be pretty fucking obvious. But for anyone out there who only has Josh Allen, find anybody else to pick up and do not start him. <laughs> He's just sit his ass all He's day. He's had a couple shit. You'll watch him fucking go off, too. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> okay, Carly, who you have for your quarterbacks? Um, I'm saying play Garoppolo on the 49ers versus the Rams. I think he... Dang, are you Garopp- still salty towards the 49ers? No. Garoppi. I'm all right with them. I'm. I was pissed. I mean, I'm pissed at their defense. Yeah. But whatever. It's all right. I'll get over it. No. I mean, I'm pretty much over it. You're still, you're you're still killing it this finals. season. Um, Garoppolo is a big part of that. I think them versus the Rams. He is going to put up some decent points for that. Um, as far as my sits go, <sighs> this pains me to say, but I'm going to say sit Baker versus the Ravens. Pretty much Carly saying, if you can do anything, sit all of the Cleveland players except, except Chubb. For Chubb. <laughs> and that's that's that. And start all the just, Ravens players and just sit learn, all of the Cleveland players. Just learn from Chubb. my mistakes of putting all your faith in um, the Browns. Anybody on the Browns. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Tanya, who you got? This one, I mean, it may or may not be obvious, but I know that, like, you have him on the bench. Uh, I say start Deshaun Watson. That's only Tampa. because I have Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Watson. I have. And that's true. <laughs> yeah. If you're not starting Lamar Jackson, there's something wrong with you. Like you yeah, should always be starting Lamar, Lamar Jackson and Deshaun Watson. So, <laughs> but start Deshaun Watson against Tampa. Obviously, I mean Jarvis barely has anybody to throw to at this point, and their defense is just kind of lackluster, honestly. So, I hate saying it, but it's true. Honestly, it sounds really fucked up, but I'd be starting Winston over Watson at this point, and I'm only saying well, that okay, because, because I have he's both had of them. two really good games. Well, because I have both of them on my one team, and every fucking week, I have more faith in Watson. It's like a toss-up. And, and every fucking week, Winston's, like, in the negatives in the first quarter, and then he ends up doing better than Watson Well, it's the same thing as Wentz. Like I said last week, he does the same thing. Wentz is all over the place. Yeah. Also... I think Jarvis is trying to... I call him Jarvis. <laughs> I feel really weird calling him that. Oh, I'm like, that's his fucking name. I know, but it's, I don't know, Avengers thing. Um, I've never seen that, I guess. Anyways, go ahead. Me. I don't recall. Anyways, Winston has been trying to prove himself, I think, because his like contract is up and everything for Tampa, so he's trying no to... No one wants you, bro. I'm just kidding. I mean, no one wanted him until Maybe the Browns games. Him. I think he's going to stay. We have no other choice. Like, we have to, if we're not going to try to get somebody else, there's no reason to get rid of Winston. Yeah. So. Okay, so who's your sit? My sit is Kyler Murray. Ah! Against Seattle. He has. I literally have said, who the fuck has been playing him anyways? And then Carly's like, I he, played him all I season. I played him plenty of times this year. But that's why Carly yeah, also no, came into second time. He's been diminishing. He hasn't been doing anything the past few games. It wasn't his fault. It was me fucking recruiting the Browns team. Yeah, but I had him in our other league, and I played him several times, and he came out, he came through. He really did, but mm. he has definitely been on a downhill fall. So, and he's playing Seattle. I'm drunk. All right, so sit no, his ass. <laughs> yeah, we got to get moving on this. All right, tight end. Uh, go ahead, Tanya, with your tight end. I say start Caden Smith against the Redskins. I've actually picked him up because I had Evan Ingram as my tight end, like my number one tight end, and he is now officially on an IR status so done for yeah but i've been playing Caden smith the past few weeks and he i mean he's not doing amazing but he's been doing pretty good for a t- for for not a top three tight end you know what i mean so it's not it's not like you know kelsey okay <laughs> yeah Donnie, you are like on a rambling streak right now girl we just gotta spit these out no i'm just saying we're at like a like a minute seven and or an I hour seven a minute, a minute. Seven. we've only been talking for a minute it's fine an hour seven well i say sit jack doyle against carolina all right like it cool i agree i actually almost picked him as my sit mm-hmm. 
Um, I'm going to say start Cameron Brait for the Bucks against Houston because, once again, we... So Carly and I's buddy from the bar that we didn't go talk to. Yeah, there's, yeah we fucked that up. There's not a lot going on for the Bucks right now as far as passing game goes. So I think besides Perryman, you might have a good chance if you start Brait this week. And my sit... Well, I said pass game. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and... Oh, well, I mean, I guess, you know, I guess they could pass it to Barber, but... They probably won't. They probably <laughs> would not do that. Um, <laughs> and then my sit is going to be Jimmy Graham for Green Bay playing against the Vikings. I actually don't really know all that much about Jimmy Graham, but he... He's very hit or miss. Yeah, he seems like not a fucking great, <laughs> solid choice. So well, I like say I said, there's, like, there's three top tight ends that are solid almost every week, and mm-hmm. then everybody else is hit or miss. So. Yeah, they really are. And I'm just going to throw it out there because I know nobody's suggesting him as a start, but I feel like Mark Andrews is going to be up in the top picks for next year. I know. As far as tight ends? Yeah. yeah. I'm saying, you know, there's Ertz, there's Kittle, there's Kelsey. Who am I missing? There's someone else in there. Uh, Kittle. I said Kittle. Kittle, no, Kelsey. Said Ertz, Kelsey. Did no, Kittle? she did say Kittle, 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 yeah. Again, I feel like there say... was another one. But anyway. Cook. Who? Cook? No. No. He was terrible in the beginning. Oh. <laughs> but I feel like Andrews is going to be up there in the top. He made, a name for he made a name for himself, I think. Anyway, my tight end I'm going to start is Gisicki. I'm sure you're sick of hearing me say that, but he is fucking good. Um, so he's... <laughs> I knew that that's who your Miami player was, yeah. so... Miami She's versus... got more to faith in him than Devontae Parker, which I can't get on board with that. So, uh... <laughs> well, they're playing the Bengals. I think he he's going to have a decent game. Um, as far as my sit for my tight booty holes, I'm going with O.J. Howard on the Bucks uh, versus the Texans. You're sitting a Bucks player when they are down their two, like, best players? Uh, yes, because the Texans are fucking good this year, and mm-hmm. he's a tight end, so. Well, that's interesting, because I said start Cameron Bray, and she's saying yeah, sit you, O.J. Howard. Ends. So I feel like you could go with either of them, and you're saying sit both of them. Or you would say to pick Cameron Bray over O.J. Howard, if you had the choice. Or would you say sit both of them? I would say start either of them. I don't know. I I think <laughs> I really think Carly, they're... use your words, Carly. <laughs> no, I really think that is the the thirteen point five percent. Carly, that, I, I didn't uh, sleep last night at all, so like my brain is all sorts of scrambled eggs right now. But um, I honestly think, as far as the Bucks go, I think their backups are going to pull out for them. They're They've so never mean, been good with their tight ends, so I just I have no faith in them. Um, so you think Cameron Brate would be a better start, and you think Perryman's going to be the better start over OJ? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Good. We're on the same page then. All right. <laughs> yeah. Who's your sit? Who are you sitting this week? Oh, that is who you're that sitting. Was her, yeah. That was her sit. I, um. So should I start with my defense? Yeah. Then? All right. So the um. Now we're on the D. The big D. So, of course, uh, my decision here with who I'm playing would be the Ravens versus the Browns. That's that's a no-brainer there. I mean, I feel like they're just going to roll over them, to be honest. I mean, Baker's been fucking up all season. I sure fucking hope so. He's probably going to throw a reality check. Not that he hasn't had one all season, but he needs more of one. Yeah, I mean, honestly, he'll probably throw three interceptions, giving the Ravens. I don't watch these assholes win this fucking game. I'm going to shit my pants. And uh, this might be controversial here as far as um, sits go, but I'm going to say sit the Bills defense. I agree. The Patriots. I agree. I think that's. I mean, it's the Patriots. I mean, I don't well, know. I guess the Patriots defense has been like showing up. It's not necessarily. I mean, the Patriots are just good all overall. Like, yeah, I just think they're cheaters. But that is a really tough call, though. I mean, yeah, but I, the Bills I just, defense is really fucking good too. So that is a tough call. Yeah, but if you have them, I, I feel like if you had another decent team, you should play them. Right, I ha- I do have the Bills defense, and, and like, she has the 49ers also. I have the 49ers, and the Bills, probably... and the Rams, and I'm like, who you the have... fuck am I gonna start? Oh, Diane has given so much. You have three defenses. I do. The fuck? And I tell you what, everybody, I feel like she you has know three the... defenses, defenses, <laughs> defenses, and, I... and the whole Ravens team. Literally, that's what I've got going for me right now. The but... things that we told you not to do. <laughs> don't pick up three and defenses and don't pick up all one team, and that's what I've done. And I'm in the final this is fucking round. Only because it was the Ravens that she picked. She got lucky because Lamar came through. 
Anne Ingram. Well, they came through Anne because Tucker. Lamar. Came I'm through. picking up Lamar first pick next year. Fuck you, you are. Pick. <laughs> Not literally first round pick. Uh, quarterback. <laughs> fucking McCaffrey. Lamar. Fuck everyone. Okay, so for my defense, I'm going to start the Steelers' defense against the Jets. The Steelers' defense has been looking really, really good to me, except yeah, against the Jets suck. The Bills. I mean, the Bills are a really tough matchup, but yeah. the. I mean. I That's think the Steelers. I feel like the Steelers' defense is I, the t- the Jets are actually a tougher matchup than a lot of people think. I know they played the Ravens last week and they actually put up a pretty good fight for a little bit. A little bit. I mean, better for than some bit. teams, but either way, Steelers against the Jets, and then I'm going to say sit the Titans against the Saints, and I'm going to say that the fucking for the Even rest of the you season. You said Santa Hill against the Saints. Well, it's different. I, well, I know it's different, but, like... It's a lot different the because... The defense is good, too. I'm saying that fucking Drew Brees just broke a motherfucking record. And I made the mistake of playing the 49ers against the Saints, and I got, like, massive negative, negative points. Eight. So, anyone playing the fucking Saints, as long as Drew Brees is playing, fucking sit your defense because they're going to let you down. That's it. Go ahead, Tony. After a broken thumb. I say start Seattle against the Cardinals. Obviously, the Cardinals are not great. I think Seattle can hold their own towards them. Uh, and I also said sit Carly Murray against Seattle. So I say sit. You're welcome, Carly. The Browns against the Ravens. That might be obvious also. but Yeah, I feel like no one's going to be doing that. And if they are, you guys need to go I've back to I played the Browns defense before, and they did well for me. But I think I had one of the lucky, I had one of the lucky weeks. All right, if anybody's playing the fucking Browns against the Ravens, you need to go back to Fantasy 101. Because... Dude, I can't wait to see the Browns fucking have 30 points against the Ravens. Yeah, honestly, I'll fucking... I will be so upset. <laughs> I would be so happy. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. If the Ravens do well, Diane's team pops off, but if the Ravens don't do well... All right, guys, so let's get this finished up. This is, again, our last fantasy football oh recording God. of the season. <laughs> I know, How and you're, you're shitting out here at the end, Carly. you got to stay strong sleepy. with us till the end. It's been a really long episode, so thank you guys for sticking with us. Um, we just, you know, kind of... Carly had a lot of stories she wanted to share with everybody before leaving. And again, we're looking into doing something in the off-season. Not completely sure yet, but we're going to talk about it, see how it goes. Um, let us know if there's anything that you'd want to hear us talk about, like we were kind of going back and forth about earlier. So, yeah, please follow us on all of our social media, on Instagram, Spotify. Uh, definitely rate us and tag us in anything that you want to tag us in, to be honest. Apple Podcasts, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Everything. Instagram, Facebook, you know the drill. Twitter, at Wine and Waivers. You know the drill. That's really sad. I know. It's over. It's over. Well, I mean, it's not over. It's not over, but the season's it's over, over so it's crazy. <laughs> Bobby should be the whiner of the week this week. Oh, I yeah, agree. Yeah, he did. He he wrote a full-on paragraph about how he should be the whiner. <laughs> yeah, well, not, like, technically, like, for us, but he literally wrote, like, this paragraph, like, <laughs> bowing <laughs> down oh, to... I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, bowing down to my team and how his team just shit the bed completely this week. So, I agree. Wire of the Week goes to Bobby. So, briefcase Bobby. Love you, briefcase. Briefcase Bobby. We'll see who comes in. We'll see who wins. We'll be posting on our Instagram, let you guys know. All right, so we will see you guys next season and be watching for something in the off season. Be watching our socials. We'll still be posting our videos for our challenges that people lost, including myself. And we'll, of course, just be posting throughout the year until next year. And if there's any more advice that you guys need for the rest of the season, be sure to hit us up. And in the meantime, for the last time this season, everybody chug your wine and And work work your waivers. waivers. Cheers, bitches.